Well, well, well. Today, we're about to witness a groundbreaking moment in the history of AI and technology. We're about to find out if ChatGPT, the ultimate brainiac, is capable of programming an Arduino. Will ChatGPT successfully light up an LED? Or will it short circuit and blow up the whole lab? Who knows? So let's sit back, grab some popcorn, and watch as ChatGPT works its magic. Exciting times, my friends, exciting times indeed. Steps. All right, folks, get ready for a wild ride because today we're putting ChatGPT to the test. We've got three simple tasks lined up to see if ChatGPT has what it takes to program an Arduino like a pro. So there you have it, folks. Three simple tasks to determine if ChatGPT has what it takes to program an Arduino. It's like American Idol, but for robots. First up, we're going to see if ChatGPT can handle the basics. Can it program a simple print statement? We're talking hello world level stuff here. If ChatGPT can't handle this, then we might as well pack up and go home. Well, folks, we've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that ChatGPT absolutely crushed the first task, programming a simple hello world statement. We're talking Pulitzer Prize level writing here, folks. It was beautiful. The bad news? That task was just way too easy for ChatGPT. It was like asking Einstein to solve a kindergarten math problem. ChatGPT is a genius, and we need to challenge it accordingly. So we're gonna have to step up our game and throw some more complex challenges at ChatGPT. Maybe we'll ask it to program a rocket ship or build a time machine or something. Just kidding, we don't want to accidentally create a Terminator situation here. But seriously, ChatGPT is a master of language and programming. We need to push it to its limits and see what kind of crazy stuff it can come up with. Who knows, maybe ChatGPT will invent a whole new programming language that makes Python and C++ look like child's play. So watch out, world. ChatGPT is here to take over the programming scene, and we're just along for the ride. Assuming ChatGPT can handle the printing, we'll move on to task number two, reading a potentiometer. That's right, we're gonna hook up a little knob and see if ChatGPT can tell us which way it's being turned. If ChatGPT can pull this off, we might just have a genius on our hands. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats because ChatGPT is on fire. We gave it the task of reading a potentiometer, and ChatGPT tackled it like a champ. We're talking ninja-level skills here, folks. To be honest, we were a little worried that ChatGPT might struggle with this task. I mean, a knob that turns left and right? That's some pretty advanced stuff. But ChatGPT didn't even break a sweat. It's like it was born to read potentiometers. At this point, we're starting to think that there's nothing ChatGPT can't do. It's like we're living in the future where robots are smarter than humans and the world is run by super-intelligent AI. Wait a minute, maybe we should be a little concerned here. But for now, we'll just bask in the glory of ChatGPT's potentiometer reading skills. We might even give it a raise or something. Who knows, maybe ChatGPT will start its own company and take over Silicon Valley. The sky's the limit, folks. And finally, the grand finale. Can ChatGPT control a servo motor with the potentiometer? We'll be looking for some smooth, precise movements here. If ChatGPT can make that servo dance like a pro, we'll have to start calling it the Arduino Whisperer or something. Stop the presses, folks, because we have a major development in the ChatGPT Arduino saga. Not only did ChatGPT program a killer hello world statement and read a potentiometer like a pro, but it also managed to control a servo motor with the potentiometer. We're talking next-level robot genius here, people. Honestly, we were a little skeptical that ChatGPT could pull this off. I mean, controlling a motor with a knob? That's like asking a dog to play piano. But ChatGPT wasn't phased one bit. It hooked up that potentiometer to the servo motor like it was second nature. At this point, we're starting to think that ChatGPT is secretly a cyborg or something. I mean, how can a language model be this good at programming Arduinos? We might have to do some investigating here, but for now, let's just bask in the glory of ChatGPT's programming skills. It's like we've created the world's first AI-powered robot genius, and we're all just along for the ride. Who knows? Well, folks, it looks like we've hit a bit of a wall with ChatGPT's Arduino programming skills. Don't get us wrong, ChatGPT is a certified genius when it comes to programming simple tasks like Hello World and reading potentiometers. 
And let's not forget its incredible servo motor control abilities. But let's face it, those tasks were just too darn easy for ChatGPT. It's like asking a brain surgeon to put a Band-Aid on a boo-boo. We need to give ChatGPT some real challenges if we want to see what it's truly capable of. So in the next video, we're going to throw some serious curveballs at ChatGPT. We're talking advanced circuitry, complex algorithms, and maybe even some quantum mechanics. Okay, maybe that's a bit too far, but you get the idea. The point is, we need to push ChatGPT to its limits if we want to unlock its full potential. Who knows? Maybe ChatGPT will invent a new type of programming language or build a robot that can do our laundry. The sky's the limit, people. So stay tuned for the next video, where we put ChatGPT to the ultimate test. And who knows? Maybe we'll learn a thing or two about programming along the way. Or more likely, we'll just sit back and watch ChatGPT do all the work. You know what's even better than a robot who can program Arduinos? A robot who can program Arduinos and has a bunch of likes and subscribers. Help us help our robot overlords. Hit that like button and subscribe now.